guys, welcome back. So today we have a Jeep 4 liter engine. We're going to pull it out, we're going to pull the transmission out, and we're going to try and do this with the full harness. This engine and transmission is going to go into another vehicle. So this body and frame is uh, just about had it. It's all ate up with rust, but we have a good drivetrain and we have another Jeep that has good body and good frame if he's looking to have the better engine in it. We're going to remove the four cylinder out of that one later. So let's go ahead and get started on taking this one apart. <laughs> section pulled out with the condenser and radiator the radiator fan got the harness unhooked for the engine and transmission from the computer and from the harness on the firewall there we've got our fuel line unhooked we've got our power steering unhooked uh, the power steering I believe I am gonna end up using on the 
new vehicle. I'm going to probably pull the whole gearbox, steering rod, lines, and actually leave the whole system closed just like this and re reattach it to the vehicle that all this is going in. Uh, the Jeep that it's going in also did not come with AC from the factory. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the AC compressor. I've got a pulley kit coming to replace the compressor that's just a blank pulley. So we'll have that to put in. I'm going to end up pulling the whole harness along the firewall here with the fuse box and change, change that over into it. And I'm going to end up having to put the charcoal canister for the emissions in the vehicle that all this is going in. Other than that, the brakes, the horn, washer fluid, that stuff's going to stay the same uh, with what's already in there. That doesn't need to change. So what I've got left today to get this thing out is I'm going to take the drive shafts out, the shifter out of the inside, and I'm going to disconnect the exhaust probably right at the transmission. So motor and transmission will come out all in one shot with the transfer case too so we'll uh, get back to work on this thing and we should have it out in not too terribly long <laughs> transfer case, front drive shaft, and the full harness. We got it out of the donor Jeep. Right here's the Jeep that we're going to be putting it in. So, same thing, except this one has the little four cylinder in it that came out of the junkyard. It's got a transmission that's uh, about gone out in it. So we'll uh, get started on I'm taking this one apart here before long, tear it all down, so get it all out. And this one here, we're going to put a new clutch in it while we have it out. So we've got an AC delete kit coming for it so that he's still going to have the pulley be able to run the normal size belt on it. And uh, everything is going to go back into that one. So make a jeep with a little bit more power to it and i know he's talking about wanting to do a little bit of a lift and uh, use this as a fun little trail rig so this engine here should definitely uh outlive that little four cylinder and uh be able to take him on some some wild adventures <laughs> 